Thank you. I'd like to talk just a little bit about the Harada method. I have a lot of magic in my life. I mean, I, I met Dr. Shigeo Shingo 30 years ago. I met Taichi Ono. I've met so many great people in Japan over the last 30 years and published 250 books on the subject of lean and quality and productivity. And most recently, I met a man called Takashi Harada. What a gift to me because I've been involved with lean and quality and productivity and that's been always focusing on the process side, you know, on the technology side, the machine side. And then I discover Harada, which is really the human side of lean. And he taught a methodology that took children out of the slums and made them into national champions. National champions! Amazing what you can do to people. Now what is the Harada method? Harada method is simply the world's best process in day-to-day -day management developing people to their maximum capability. The world's best, and I'll tell you why it is the world's best, because first of all it works, and it's simple. It is so simple to do, but of course it takes, it takes the doing. The prime thing about the Harada method that is different is you pick a goal. You pick a goal to be successful in life. Well, I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but I was never asked to pick a goal. When I was a child and I went through the school system, Nobody ever asked me to have a, nobody ever asked me to pick a goal. Well, you pick a goal, an important goal. That's not just good for you, but it's good for your family and it's actually it's good for the society. And the higher the goal, the more powerful it will be for you to attain it because you're not going to let other people down. And then you just brainstorm 60, 64 tasks, 64 things that you have to do to attain that goal. Not so complicated. Okay, then you select 10 of those to get started this month. And then you might take one to do today. But every day you're going to do a task which is going to lead you to attain that goal. And the important thing is you never give up. You never give up. You believe in yourself. I went to the store today. I met a lovely lady who was selling me a strawberry. I never saw it's a white strawberry. I never saw a strawberry white before. She said it's the best in the world. And I believed her. And I'm talking to her. She said, well, she really wants to be a flight attendant. I said, go and do it. But right away, the apprehension, well, maybe they won't accept me. You know, maybe I'm not good enough. I said, forget that nonsense. You just do it. Tomorrow, you go to a and and you become a flight attendant. The brilliant part of the Harada Method is you pick a goal. You develop a task to attain the goal. Every day you schedule that task. Sure, you're doing your normal job. That's fine. But you make sure that you're doing this one task today. At the end of the day, did you do what you want to do? And then the last key is you must work with a coach. You have to work with somebody who's going to support you, who's going to pat you on the back, who's going to keep you in the right direction. The Harada Method is the most powerful process that I have discovered in the last 20 years. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, Paul Akers. It's Friday morning and like you, I'm in transit to Japan. I'm in Seattle, getting ready to go over. I just got off a Skype conference call with George and he said, Paul, why don't you record a quick little message for everyone? And I just want to say I'm so excited about this trip. I've been three times in Japan. This will be my fourth study mission over there to learn about lean. But I'm most excited about this one for a couple reasons. Number one, I'm going over there with Crazy George. He's a Greek. I'm a Greek. I don't think they are allowed to let two Greeks into Japan at the same time. It's going to be nuts just from that standpoint. The second reason why is I've got a whole bunch of great friends, lean buddies, and people that I collaborate with that are going on this trip, and I'm so excited to be together with them. I think that's going to be very special. And then the third reason why is I'm going to meet a whole bunch of new people, people that I've never met before, and I think the collaboration between all of us is going to be spectacular, frankly. And the fourth and probably the most important reason is we're going with Norman Bodak. Wow, that's going to be incredible. I think we're going to learn more than we ever dreamed, and I think it's going to be an epic trip, and I'm looking forward to meeting all of you, and I'll see you in a few hours in Japan. Thanks a lot. Well, I'm very happy to see you, George and Raphael, here in Tokyo. 
And this is my favorite hotel. This is the Imperial Hotel. This is the hotel that MacArthur stayed in right at the end of the war. This was his general command. He was very smart to take this as his hotel. And we on, the, on this trip, we're going to visit some of the best companies, not only in Japan, but in the world. We're, we're going on Monday to DC Dental. DC Dental was rated as the second highest company in all of Japan in quality. Only Minolta um, Comica, Minolta, was rated higher than them. And we're going to visit a small company, only about a thousand people, called Mirai, Mirai Industries. And in fact, I'm working on the book right now. I just got the permission to publish the book yesterday. Uh, it only took them, what, eight months to give me permission. Only? <laughs> only because the, the president who wrote the book died in August, and he didn't know what to do, the publisher. But Mirai is rated probably the best company in Japan to work for. Mm -hmm. That's a big statement. Not only the best company in Japan, pretty close to the best company in the world mm. to work for. Why? What do they do that's so unusual? Many, many things, but for this short video, I'll just explain one thing called no horenzo. Horenzo. Actually, horenzo means spinach in Japanese, but it's it also green? spinach. Mm -hmm. But horenzo really means no um, reporting, no communicating, no consulting, mm -hmm. no reporting. That means if you get excited about something new for the company, you come to the company and you do it. You don't have to ask your boss for permission to do it. You know, in America, you want to do something new, you go to the boss and the boss says right away, look, it's not in the budget. We didn't plan to do it, you know? Maybe we won't do it right, etc. A thousand reasons why not to do something new. It's funny. There's so much resistance to change. A manager should lead change instead of being the resistance to change. So imagine... First, first impressive thing. Huh? Yeah. Era, yeah. So uh, many, many impressive why they're the best to work for. The employees work their tail off. And we're going to see this plant. It's low technology. We're not going to see any robotics or anything exciting, but we're going to see a company that for 45 years never lost any money. And a full-time employee. And everybody's full-time. No part-time employees. If you need an employee, you hire someone. There's no HR department to hire anybody. You hire them. And they have lifetime employment. And it works. They're, they're profitable every single year. And I love this concept of no horenzo. What does that mean? One of the things that we're going to teach on this trip to everyone, I hope it's going to work, George. I'm a little bit apprehensive because I've asked people to read the Harada book and to begin to practice the Harada method on this trip. And Harada teaches us fundamentally how to be self-reliant. What does it mean to be self-reliant? That's no horenzo. Self-reliant means you are trusted to do what's right for you and for the company. This is going to be an amazing experience for us to visit this company. It's going to be a pleasure for me to share my learning because I'm working on the book. I only mention one more point, which is the president said, the president was Mr. Yamada, and he said, whatever you do, you must differentiate. Whatever you do has to be different than what another company is doing. Otherwise, why? Yeah? They're going to buy it. Yeah? Because if, if, if they can make it, you know, we're not interested in competing on that level. We're going to compete on our creativity, our cost, not even our cost because their products cost more in competition. Give me an example. They make uh, light switches, little light, light switch boxes which are in the walls. All over, the, all over the country, all over the world. These little boxes and the cables come in and you put the switches on, right? And the little green boxes with three holes in it. Well, competition in Japan makes three different kinds of boxes, slightly different. Mm -hmm. um, Mirai makes 80, 80 different ones. Mm -hmm. 
80 di different colors, different holes, different sizes, different shapes, 80. And he says, we lose money on 77. We only make money on three. But the customer wants the others. And we can't overcharge them if we're going to make a, a couple for them, right? Mm -hmm. But we make it for the customer. And we have 90% of the market share in Japan mm -hmm. because the, the electricians are loyal to us. They appreciate what, what we do. And we've made 60 million of these since we've been in business. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a great trip. George, thank you for taking videos. Maybe we can do this again later on. Mm. Great, Norman. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Norman. <laughs> I got like two cameras working. Oh, I just the same time. Because then I can go in between, in between pictures. Oh, right? If you then, want me to do something, just uh, tell me. Yeah, yeah I want you to just look yeah. as pretty as you look. <laughs> <you're not laughs> really, I just don't want that pretty. Right? There we go. I, I'm, I, I'm a good guy, so say uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>